Hi guys. Today I will show you one of the ways to increase the speed of the internet. I must immediately warn everyone that this video is purely informational and educational in nature, and I do not urge anyone to repeat my actions. I am just sharing my personal experience and showing how to eliminate one of the reasons for the low speed of the internet. In fact, there can be quite a few reasons for poor and low internet speed. For convenience, I have specially displayed the main ones in this table. Suppose you have tried everything from the listed list, but your internet connection speed is still low and does not correspond to the declared tariff plan of your internet provider. Then I suggest trying another option with the setting in the Windows operating system, which we will now analyze. First, let's measure the speed of our internet connection before changing the settings. To do this, you can follow the link in the description under this video, or simply open your browser. And in the search engine we write, the speed of the internet. Here I usually choose the first one in the list. This is a fairly popular site for measuring internet connection speed and it is really a global internet speed test, let's run it. The interface of this site is quite simple and understandable. To measure the speed of your internet, just click on the button here, go, and after that the first internet connection speed test for downloading begins. Also pay attention to this speedometer, its marking in my case is from 0 to 100, you may have other numbers. This means that the internet speed of my tariff plan under an agreement with my internet provider should reach up to 100 megabits per second, but in fact we will see the real numbers a little later. And so, the first download speed test is over, after that, the second download speed test immediately starts automatically. We wait for its completion and check the results. And the results are as follows, my download speed is 51 megabits per second, and the upload speed is 91 megabits per second, and only the upload speed is very close to my tariff plan. Of course, this is also not a bad speed, but according to my internet tariff, for which I pay money every month, I should receive speeds up to 100 megabits per second for downloading and uploading. And so, now I will show you what will help solve this problem with the speed of the internet specifically in my case, close the browser. Press the keys on your keyboard, Win, and R, simultaneously. In this search box, write the command, Petit MSC. Click, OK. Before us opens the window of the Windows Group Policy Editor. In this window, in the Computer Configuration, go to the folder, Administrative Templates. Here we open the folder, Network. Click once on the folder, Q Package Scheduler. Now double click on the right, Limit Reservable Bandwidth. A window opened, and here we see that I have a parameter set, not configured. On the right below you can see what this parameter means. And it means the following. If this setting is disabled or not set, then the system uses the default value of 80% of the connection bandwidth, and this is the speed of the internet connection. To enable and set another parameter, Check the box here, enabled. And a little lower, in bandwidth limits, we remove 80% and set the value to zero. Click, apply. Okay. After that, we restart the computer. After the reboot, we again go to the internet speed test site and begin testing the download speed and upload speed. As you can see this time, my download speed on the internet was already 94 megabits per second, and the upload speed also rose to 94 megabits per second, which already more or less corresponds to my 100 megabits tariff plan for my internet provider. If you found this video useful and liked it, please support it by liking and subscribing to the channel, and do not forget to click on the bell. See you soon on my channel, 
and by everyone.